Are you getting ready to plant some trees? Ah! This is Mike Cornwell with Dixie Fruits, and we're gonna show you how to do it right. Once you know where you wanna put your fruit trees, you have to make sure to do it right. The first thing is, it's gotta be at the right depth. You need to make sure that the hole is wide enough, and you need to not overthink this. You're gonna to wanna to have the right tools. These are the two that I use the most. If you got real easy soil to dig into, all you need is a shovel, nothing complicated. Or if you've got a little bit more uh, kind of hard things going on, this pickaxe is exactly what you need, also known as a mattock. Okay. See, this is a great example of what not to do. This is an apple tree, if you couldn't tell. And it's planted just a little too low. This little, uh, this little guy here just got stepped on by the cameraman. This is a sweet Kaufman apple, a cider variety from Devon, England. And you definitely do not want to plant your trees this low and have them this obscured because they can get stepped on. All right, first, we got all this mulch here. You may or may not have that situation. All you got to do is scratch it out of the way. And I typically use a mattock in a, in a hard location, um, whether there's mulch or there's other stuff or it's like heavy clay. And then just start breaking it up. And depending on how nice the soil is, oftentimes I'll kind of try to keep the top layer, which is much, uh, much blacker and nicer, try to keep it a little bit separated than some of these more hard, compact clay layers. Um, you'll see why in a bit. You can see why I use this tool, not just a shovel. You can just kind of beat at it. When you're getting ready to plant your tree, you need to take into consideration the depth and the width. And depending on the tree, and the size pot that you're getting ready to plant, that will change the size of the hole that you're growing or that you're digging into. So in this one right here, this kind of smaller tree, all, all you really want as far as depth is just a little bit past where the bottom of the, the tree will go. And on this one, kind of similar thing, just a little bit lower than where the pot would be. Now, as far as the width of the hole, you want to do at least you know, about three times the width on one of these kind of smaller ones and maybe two times on this uh, larger one here. Now, I'll show the camera guy that it's kind of important to plant these right. We'll get in closer once we actually plant this, but what you want is to actually put the soil line even with where it is in the pot. And in this case, this is a grafted tree, this guy right here. And so you want to actually make sure that this maintains or it stays above the soil line by at least about two or three inches. In this case here, I'm getting ready to put this little tree and that's not quite deep enough. Uh, we got our hole needs to be expanded just a little bit more. Let's check our tree. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> if you're using one of these white bags here, you're going to need to cut it off. All I need is a box cutter. Just get in there and cut it right out.
peel it back. And put it in place. Yeah, roots are certainly nice on this guy. Very compact and right there. So now we've got this where we need it to be. And this is, brings up an extremely important point. At this point, you may feel compelled that to state that your soil is just so terrible, you gotta put amendments in it. That's just not the case. Do not put amendments in the hole. That kills more trees than probably any other situation. All you need to do is take the soil and put it exactly back the way that you pulled it out. And ideally, there will be two different, you know, multiple different layers of the soil. And so you put the ones on the bottom in there first, and then you put all the stuff back the way you got it out. All right, just kind of tamp it in there with your foot. Be careful not to step on the actual tree itself, just around it, you're trying to get, trying to get this in there. You can try to get the pour space out with water, basically pouring some water in there and then tamping on it. Uh, with this kind of moist soil, it's not really all that necessary. Replacing the mulch, making sure everything's nice and tidy. That's about it. If you wanna come in and take a look at this soil level with this tree, you can see what I mean here, that I'm not having this planted too deep and it's about even with the soil here. It's a little, little up, but that's fine. The last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your tree has plenty of mulch. Mulch provides a ton of benefits to your tree, but the main one that you wanna know about is that you're just not gonna to have to water this tree like you would normally have to. I get asked all the time, so how often do I need to water this tree? And it perplexes me. It just shows that they haven't seen what mulch does. But when you get the mulch right, it makes all the difference in the world. And this tree right here, this one's pretty mulch. This is mulch about as good as it gets. This has a giant ring of mulch. Uh, this is a bunch of bark chips. You can use pine bark, you can use hay, you can use all sorts of stuff. This keeps the weeds back and it keeps the moisture nice and good where this tree wants it right on the ground. And one of the things you wanna do is you wanna make sure that it's nice and clear on the inside and away from the actual bark of the tree. So it creates kind of this dome, uh, kind of a volcano or a, a donut of, of sorts uh, that the mulch goes on. And you wanna see here, I'm not sure how well uh, you can see it, but the mulch layer needs to be tall. It needs to be heavy, and in this case, it's about six to eight inches, and maybe over here, it might be almost 10 inches tall. That mulch is gonna break down. And making sure to have that height on it, the height is what actually makes the mulch keep moist. And that's all there is to it. That could've been a thousand times better.